Left the, purse there, everything. When you used to trick niggas or lie. Mm -hmm. um, Deceive, that's, yeah. Uh, when they found out, or did they ever find out? Um, How would you hide that? Like, if a nigga, if you fucking with a nigga, you don't want a nigga to know. You just suck his dick all the time and tell him I'm on my period I'm every... I'm on my period, yeah. Tell him I'm on my period. I've actually fucked, trick fucked a nigga too before. How you do that? Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just get in the dark, you hold stuff like this. Oh, you then, hold it? Yeah, you just hold a little something, you put a little towel under it, be like, I'm I'm spotting real bad now, so just be gentle. <laughs> and then they when you got a lot of booty, it helps. You got a lot of ass. Nigga so, and nigga ain't touch it down there, like one time okay, no. But one time one dude he was so excited. He was getting a little excited, he came around he reached around. I said, uh-uh. I said, I'm on my... I said, I'm spotting. No. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, no. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Rich and Unemployed Podcast Uncut. I'm your host, Jonathan Dupatine, a.k.a. Finesse. And uh, before we get started, make sure you guys check out the Patreon uh, for exclusive content. Make sure you guys check out the website. For the head scars, for the bucket hats, for all the merch, www.richonatoy.net. And whoo, I got a very, very special person sitting here today. Um, very controversial. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Sydney Starr, the transgender diva. Not the little one, the big one. The, the big... <laughs> the, big, the big trans? The big trans. Okay. The big trans girl that everybody talks about and knows about. And I'm going to just tell you like this. For you to be a straight man and have me on your show, you got big balls, baby. For sure. Big old hairy balls. I'm scared to uh, <laughs> agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like shit. that because that's my favorite. I love them hairy. So. Any dude that comes to me and I like you know get down with him and he comes shave I be like uh uh get the fuck out you gotta come back in two three months Harry I, um, I don't play that shave shit <laughs> <laughs> so how long you been trans um I started my transition at 14 years old how do you know do you say that <laughs> You have to, I mean, it's on the internet. Okay. I'm 33. I'm the same age. When's your birthday? February 5th. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, at 14, before you you transitioned, like, were you were you gay? Um, that's a good question. Um, actually, I didn't really even know what I liked. I just knew that I was a girl. You get what I'm saying? Like, I was really just. I knew I loved long hair dresses, Barbie dolls, like, I didn't even have a preference. I just was more so a girl before I even knew what I liked, if you get what I mean. But of course, it came hand in hand as growing up, you know, I was like, oh, I was into white boys at first, uh -huh. so. So you had a boyfriend before? Oh, yeah. I've had, well, after getting out of high school and all that, yeah, I've been in probably three real relationships. I have two guys' names tattooed on me. No, no before, before the transition. Oh, uh, before the transition. Yeah, no. You, no boyfriends? Mm -mm. No relationships? Uh, fake girlfriends. You, were you a virgin? When I was in grammar school. But. So you was fucking? No. You was a virgin? Yes. You transitioned to a virgin? Yes. Okay. My first sexual experience was with a male. At what age? <laughs> I was um, I was seventeen at my job in Fort City in the back of the clothing store. We were on break. All right, and so he, you know, he made me, he made me suck his dick. <laughs> Why you got me so vulgar, bro? <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. That's yeah. what happened. So, he was, he was, um, I was a, I think I was a junior. Yeah, I was a junior in high school. He was, um, younger than me. He was like a freshman. But he ain't look like no freshman. 
Hmm. I was a. What did you look like? I. A lot of people used to say I looked like um, Alicia Keys, but like super skinny. Alicia Keys. Because I used to have the braids. Okay. Like dead ass. Like when I used to wear the um, braid, the weed braids, because that was the only thing I could do. I couldn't mm -hmm. wear the hair like this. So when I would wear the weed braids, when I would go out, the people would be like, oh, she remind me of Alicia Keys. I mm. swear to God. And then when I got into the like the gay ballroom scene, they used to call me that Alicia Keys Escada. For sure. Because I was in the house of Escada. I still am in the house of Escada. They don't call you that no more. No, because I'm a thick bitch now. They called me Big Mama. <laughs> they call me Big Mama now. How'd you get but that? I do, but no, but look, I do get some famous people now, though. Some people tell me I remind them of Cardi. I, I, I can see that. I see that for sure. Yeah, I see that. Cardi. You ever met Cardi? Yeah. I have a funny story with that, actually. Oh, let's hear it. <laughs> when, I mean, Cardi, we good, though, but I feel like it's really... I'm 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 actually okay with it. Cardi cussed me out. For what? We were all together one time. She um was a little frustrated. She was in Chicago. And um this was when she was on Loving Hip Hop. So she was at this club in Chicago. It was a strip club. They um wouldn't really let her perform or whatever, so she was over it and she was ready to go. So Somebody hit me up and was like, tell Cardi we about to go. They tapped me, and I tapped Cardi. I'm like, Cardi, we about to go. She said, bitch, fuck you. Don't fucking touch me. I don't fucking know you. I said, hold on. I said, Cardi, I'm just relaying a message. Like, so I said, wow. I said, damn. So, let me say this. Mm -hmm. An hour later, Cardi hit me up on Instagram. She even left a comment. She said, I am so sorry I cussed you out like that. I was overwhelmed. Um, it was a lot going on. And we was good after that. Gotcha. So, yeah. She's the good people, though. The, I, I know if I seen her to this day, it'd be all love. But I can say I got cussed out by Cardi B. How you boy? <laughs> so, being, in the, being like Hollywood and being a celebrity, like, are you... Is it easily accepted for who you are? Hell no. I thought that was no. I thought it was cool. Mm mm. Being trans in the industry I'm in. Mm mm. Cause when I first came out, I was a go-go dancer. I didn't um, tell anyone that I was trans. And um, when it came out, I went viral. I went viral on World Star Hip Hop, Media Takeout, and everyone fired me. Oh, because you were lying. Mm -hmm. They why, felt why, that. Why was you lying? Because like, I didn't really feel like it was anyone's business to know what was going on. Because I was just trying to make a name for myself and get famous. And, you know, it was I, I came from nothing. Like, my family, I, you know, I wasn't poor or anything. But what I mean by nothing is I, I didn't have anybody famous in my family. So, I didn't have help. Yeah. So, I had to do everything from scratch. So, literally... Little old Sydney that is not open, ready to be openly trans, trying to get into the industry. So I just was using my little looks that I had. And mm. I was definitely a baddie when I was younger. A lot. Even I'm a baddie now, but my early 20s, I was a bad bitch. Mm -hmm. um, What's your real name? Is that the cue? Like, am I answering that? Is that the cue? <laughs> oh, nigga, I ain't answering that. The only way I'm going to give you my real name is if you're coming back to the hotel and I'm sucking your dick. Okay. Let's drink to that. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I mean, you cute. I, I derp you up because I kind of, you ain't, ain't going to lie, you kind of sexy. What kind of man you like? You like the type. I go for it. You said you like the little dreadhead that just left out of here. I do. That's my number one type. Dreadhead, light mm -hmm. skin. And then what's number two? I would say something like your type, like the way you look. I got a ball head. Do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't mean, I don't mean nothing. You can put a hat on. <laughs> 
shit. I mean, but I don't really discriminate. As far as long as you sexy and yo, you know, your down part hairy, then we good. Cause if you a shaver, I'll be like, nigga, no. Get the fuck on. <laughs> That really turns me off. I really am turned off by a shaver. Like, dead ass. Like, if you come in looking fine as hell, and you pull your shit down, and you shave like a baby's bottom, I'm gonna be like, oh, fuck. How easily is it for you to get men? Very easy. But do, do they know? Most know. I'm pretty well known. But the ones that don't know... They'll, like, for some reason, I think when I give my number out, like, it gives them the information of who I am. It's so crazy. I don't know. Because when I give my number out to somebody that knows me, they be like, yo, you you famous or something? They'll text me with that. And I'm like, why you say that? And it's like, nah, because your shit popped up at Sydney Star or something. And I looked it up on Google. And I'd be like, what the fuck is my number doing when I give my number out? So, yeah, most dudes, they just... Be a little shocked that don't know, and then when they find out, they be like, "What? What that? You know, what the mouth do?" None of them be scared. None of them just be like, "You know, block oh, and run yeah. away." I've had that too. Uh huh. Or some will be like, um, "Can you send me some pictures and videos of what my body and what I got between my legs?" <laughs> what do you have? Um. Well, I mean, I pre- I made it well known. I know. I seen, when I was on baddies, I seen. Well, no, I seen when you was loving hip hop. You was talking about. It, you said you still had it because the surgery would cost too much. But I used to lie and say I didn't have it. You used to lie, and, and then say that I was of a sex change. You lied to the niggas you talking to. No, I just was. I lied to on the TV. world. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I lied to the world and said I had a sex change because I thought it was more fab. <laughs> So I thought it was more fab, you know, to say, oh, yeah, I got a pussy now. What do you have now? Let's just say, um, let's just say me and you both can stand up together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my we God. We the same style <clears throat> to. So you don't want a pussy no more? Um... You know, I'm going to be real with you. You want to know why I always wanted to pussy? I always wanted to pussy because I wanted to be a stripper. Like, a full-blown stripper. So like, you can just get fully naked? Yeah, because yeah. I used to be a go-go dancer. Yeah, y'all don't get naked. Mm-mm. Y'all didn't want to... It's y'all just be on the stage. Shorts and yeah. That was actually one of the reasons why I wanted to get a pussy. Because I wanted to be center stage, butt-ass naked, Pussy wide open. <laughs> like, wham. Yeah. Relax, just calm down. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, that's the reason why I wanted the sex change. I mean, a lot of girls have reasons why they want sex changes. I know one girl that said they wanted a sex change because she didn't want to die with a penis. She didn't want to be buried in her coffin with a penis. That was exactly why she said she was getting a sex change. I'm like, yo, I wanted to tell her, like, when you dead, it don't matter. Like, who mm-hmm. cares what you got? So you don't you don't care about it no more? Uh, honestly, nah. I'm pretty sure you got enough money to go pay for it. I do. I actually do. How much it cost? It's like 30000 30000 That can't be. Mm-hmm. It's, it's something cheaper than that. Well, yeah, if you go to Thailand, it's like eight. Uh. But then you got to think about this. You got to get the flight. You got to get the um hotel. Then you gotta, you know, pay for the hotel at for your um your care. That's yeah. gonna add up to about twenty. 20. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, you would never, you would never talk to a trans girl if you. I mean, if you didn't know. I what? If so, say like you talk to this badass female, and I mean, just go ahead, go ahead. Going off by the way she looks or whatever. Your nipples out. Maybe I wanted it to be out. Just just put them up. <laughs> These nipples have a mind of their own, though. Hmm. But no, so this is what I mean. So say you talk a badass female. Y'all talking about like two days. 
And then she come out and be like, just want to let you know I am transgender. I'm running. You running? Right. Why? You ain't even give it a chance. I don't, I don't think I want to. What if she just like wanted to just like give you oral? That's see, that's what y'all be doing. That's what y'all be doing. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be just so quick to give to give a nigga some head and don't even say nothing. See, then, nah, see, I don't be tricking the boys no more. But you used to. Back in the day, when I didn't like want my business out, yeah, and I'm not saying that that was right. And at this day, let me just say this to the world: If you are a beautiful trans woman. Whatever. It don't, let me not say beautiful. It could be just trans woman. Please let these guys know. I don't agree with tricking dudes. That is not a I don't thing. agree either. It's, it's not. But, I mean, when I was younger, I did it a lot. But I'm not proud of that. Okay. And thank God that I'm still here amongst the living. Because, yeah. Did it I'm ever Did it ever get violent? Um... To be honest with you, I've never really had a man physically like, <sighs> well, I'll take that back. Actually, uh, one of my exes put his hands on me. Because you what? Just because I had, he thought I had cheated. Uh-huh. That motherfucker snatched my drawstring out so fast. I had a long, pretty drawstring ponytail. And he was like, he thought I did something with his cousin. I would never do that to my nigga. I would never have, like, sexual relations with your cousin, brother, anything like that. Now, if I want to get back at your ass, yeah, maybe. But if I'm good in and with you, I would never. If I'm a cheat, I'm not going to cheat with no, your family. Hmm. But, yeah, I had to do put his hands on me. And his grandma was screaming, let her go. <laughs> the, grandma, the grandma heard me in the room screaming. And he had this little pole, and he was, like, hitting me with it. And the grandma was screaming for her lungs, saying, let that girl go. And the way I got out, I got out through the window. <laughs> that, I'm dead ass. We might be laughing, but that was dead ass. Uh, that was on the west side of Chicago. Let's, let's rewind. I popped out the motherfucking window to get away from that shit. Let's, Left let's... purse there, everything. When you used to trick niggas or lie, mm-hmm. um, deceive—that's yeah. Um, when they found out, or did they ever find out? Um, how would you hide that? Like, if a nigga, if you fucking with a nigga, you don't want a nigga to know. You just suck his dick all the time, and tell him I'm on my period I'm every. I'm on my period, yeah. Tell him I'm on my period. I've actually fucked, trick fucked a nigga too before. How you do that? Wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you just you just get in the dark. You hold stuff like this. Hold you then, hold it. Yeah, you just hold a little something. You put a little towel under. Be like, I'm I'm spotting real bad now. So just be gentle. <laughs> and then they when you got a lot of booty, it helps. You got a lot of ass. Nigga, so, and nigga ain't touch it down there. Like one time, okay, no, but one time one dude he was so excited. He was getting a little excited. He came around. He reached around. I said, "Uh, uh-uh. uh." I said, "I'm on my." I said, "I'm spotting." No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. No. <laughs> don't you dare. Oh shit, <laughs> bro. Is that a phone? Put this phone on top of that. Was phone. Um, and that's how we got good. There was only one time. There was one time. I was on some stupid shit. I was like 19, 20. Um, I was with my girlfriend that was a real girl. So that helped out a lot. We was hanging out with like five niggas. And I did something with like three of them. And when we did And they, they didn't know? No. But I'm finna tell you what happened. So we, um, the dudes that I did something with, we was in a laundry room. Each time. So, it was, you know, it's kind of dark in the laundry room. Uh, you said just one nigga or all three? Three. I did like three of them. At the same time? One yeah. by one. In the same laundry room? Yeah. Same night? Yes. <laughs> Hit me out. Let me tell you the story. So, I did all three of them. And all of them I told I was on my period. So, then after that, my homegirl told me like in the side, she like, 
Yo, the niggas um talking about they want us to strip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Why they want us to strip? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I fucked like three of them already. Why they want us to strip? Um, she like, cause one of them was talking about like, um, they want to make sure that we all women and stuff. I'm like, what? So I was scared. Oh. Y'all stop with your phone. Yeah. Mm. It's always the boy in the picture. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so. Um, How'd you get Oh, yeah, that? so look, let me finish telling you. That mm. shit was scary as fuck when she told me that. She's like, yo, bitch. She put me in the bathroom. She's like, bitch, they want you, us to strip. She ain't have a problem with she because she was, you know, a girl. Girl, girl. You know, I was just, you know. A special girl. Oh, special. That's what I like to say. Uh -huh. A special girl. So, I'm like, bitch, you gonna have to go out there and strip for us. You gonna have to <laughs> do it all. You gonna, be, you gonna have to tell them my vagina hurt or something. My vagina hurt. Yeah, she like, let me see what I'm gonna do. She's like, stay here. Woo -woo -woo. She like, long story short, she came back to the bathroom. She like, bitch, we got to go. She grabbed me. We busted out the motherfucking door. We ran like we was motherfucking Forrest Gump. Two Forrest Gumps together. I bet you went fast. I ran fast. I was only like 99 pounds at mm -hmm. that time. Before I am you know, hit my 30s, I was super skinny. I was like 115, 120. Like now I'm like damn near 160, 170 because I'm a thick bitch. So I done had liposuction twice. Cause I just love to eat. I'm a bitch that love. I'm a hungry, hungry hippo ass bitch. I be want to eat all the time. That's one thing about me. I don't do drugs. I don't do none of that other shit. I drink a little wine, but I love to eat and I love dick. That's my two favorite things to do. Like I love me some dick. If I don't got a nigga or no boyfriend, I'm just dick hunting. <laughs> I'm dick hunting, baby. <laughs> like for real and it ain't hard for me to get it cause I'm not a bad looking girl you feel me like niggas look at me they be like bitch you look like you can be like in a rap video cause the niggas like the, we like that look they they like the I ain't gonna lie I messed around with some big name rappers I won't say no names though I don't wanna hear no names cause I don't even wanna mm -hmm. stop listening to them mm -mm. So, but I'm the rapper's <laughs> ideal look they like big booties Big titties, caramel skin, they love that shit. They are into that type of bitches. Do you think a man that fucks with a transsexual is gay? Mm-mm. Why not? I said it plenty of times. No. A man that fucks with a transsexual woman is completely straight. You you honestly believe that? <laughs> what can I say? Hold on. To make it real, for real, like... <laughs> Is is <laughs> is the sky blue? What, what? <laughs> is Jamie Lee Curtis a hermaphrodite? Yes. Oh. Is that true? You are straight if you deal with a transsexual woman because because let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. Just looking at me, do I look like a nigga? No. Perfect. So, if a man is attracted to a woman, and that's all he's attracted to, to femininity, that is straight. Mm -hmm. There's nothing gay about that. You feel me? I could see if I had a little beard like that. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a little beardy beard going on like how you got, then I'll be like, okay, nigga. You, yeah. like, you like masculine shit, don't you? You want me to put a little, gotcha. you want me to put a strap on, you want me to peg you. Uh, but most dudes that like me are into women. Most dudes that are attracted to me like women. That's all they like. They don't want no hard legs. But when they, when you pull out your penis. But I don't, I don't be pulling that out. But you got to get naked around these niggas. I mean, yeah, but the, you ever heard of tucking? You just going to tuck it the whole time? Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> Shit, I had this little... So I have this little thing. I have a little blankie. She's my little best friend. I travel with her everywhere I go. So when I be with a guy, I have my little blankie. I have it like this. 
And then when I'm giving, you know, the nigga head, sometimes I be just, you know, doing my thing. Down there, I get off while I'm stuck in AZ. Doing your own thing. Doing my own thing. Like, <laughs> for real. You, I mean, you guys go there. So after that, I go back to sucking. And when it's time to have sex, intercourse. Because I usually get off when I'm giving a guy head. I get off that way. I just love, like, making a man, like, I turn, that turns me on when I make a man get his rocks off, so. You getting me kind of hot. Like, you. You kind of getting me a little hot, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Looking at you and how you, you know, your stature and, you know. It's cool, though. I ain't even gonna lie. Turn the AC I like, down. I like what I, turn the AC I, down. I ain't even gonna hold you. Your legs, you got some nice little thighs on you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, hey. So, hey, I want to ask you a question. I know this is your show. Yeah. But I got a question for you. So, are you... You look like you are. Are you kind of hairy? <laughs> Sydney, uh, are you a hairy down there? Are you a hairy man down there? Sydney, the, are you in the are you in the hairy bear? You know, you know, something. Give me a little something, something to work. A little something, something. You know. I'm, I'm scared <laughs> to answer that. I'm really afraid to answer that. I'm gonna say no. Sometimes, sometimes I am. I don't know. I'm gonna say you don't. I, I think you're a shaver. Lex. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that your brother? <laughs> we we just talked back in the day. Oh, uh, Lex, what's what's T? Don't tell her shit. <laughs> Give me that beat. <laughs> Don't tell her nothing. Give me the beat, Lex. Give me the beat. Is it Harry or Shame? <laughs> Don't motherfucking hold back. <laughs> This is crazy, bro. <laughs> um, Look, you knew what you were to ask for when you brought Sydney Stark and Transgender Diva on I your did, show. I did. I did. You should have known it was gonna be some bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine with all the bullshit. <laughs> Alex, was it did good though, at least? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all not together no more, so maybe. No. She. They're gonna get answer right there. No, that's not true. I, I left her. Motherfucker got good dick. I'm going to always be around. I'm going to always, bitch. I'm going to be paying your ass, nigga. Like, for real. I don't got a problem with paying a nigga either. You a pay a nigga? I've done it plenty of times. What's the conversation like? The conversation is, nigga, do you want this this bread or what? You like in your ass ate? I don't I don't. I, <laughs> Anyway, oh my god, yo. <laughs> like my girl Suki say, I be eating niggas' asses. Eating niggas' ass. We be eating niggas' ass. Uh, Chingy. Why, why you lie? Next question. Hmm. Won't be speaking on that. All right. Mm -hmm. I feel like Natalie. Natalie who? None? I feel like Natalie none. You look crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna pull the chin down just a little bit. <laughs> when you fought these three niggas in the laundry, did did you have a condom? Of course. I'm so glad you went there. Now, one thing about me, I'm a nasty ass, freaky ass bitch. But I don't do nothing without condoms. I don't even suck dick without condoms. And I got a nigga in this room to vouch for me. Well, two in the back that can vouch. I do not do nothing raw. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I have that. I got the, the, of course the nigga I got on my name, tattoos. He done hit raw. The last nigga I was in love with hit raw once. So you was in a relationship with a nigga mm -hmm. and made him hit every, every time? I, yeah. Why? Um, Just because I am... Not trying to be a statistic. I never say that word right. A statistic. It's a statistic. I can't even say it. Statistic. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because usually, you know, a lot of trans girls, they be escorting, you know, they don't do nothing with, you know, they don't wrap up. It's all about the money. They don't give a fuck. And I ain't gonna lie, I don't knock nothing or nobody what they do. But me, I just like this place safe. Like, I like the place safe. Even in a relationship? Yeah. we. The only way we getting loose in a relationship is we and that bitch about at least two years. There's no way. There ain't no way I'd be with a girl and goddamn have to use a condom every time. Really? So, what if you're going to fuck other niggas? I mean, bitches, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was it was an accident. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so look. If you are going to fuck other bitches, I'm sure you're not gonna want to use a condom on them either. So that's not fair to your bitch at home if you're fucking her while you're gonna bring back vagina juices back into her vagina. Mm-hmm. So you either got to play all the nipple all the way out. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, baby. So you either have to, um, you either have to play it safe with her all the way or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Meaning you're going to just fuck these bitches raw and play safe for her or fuck her raw and then play safe for the bitches. You feel what I'm saying? You got you. You play Wish on... you niggas don't do that shit anyway. Y'all niggas is nasty. You plan on getting married? I would love to get married. I would love to because I'm a good girlfriend. I'm a good bitch. Really? You're a good girlfriend? Mm -hmm. You know how to be a Take girlfriend. Take care of your ass. Mm. Fly you on trips. Introduce you to celebrities. I am really am a good ass bitch. Like, any nigga would want to be with me. And you feel like you'd be a wife? Yeah. And I'm good at it, too. I don't cheat. When I'm in a relationship, the only way I'm cheating is if it's about money. I ain't gonna hold you. What's if it's you, about what? money, if a nigga hit me up, be like, yo, I got one K for you. Maybe five. A thousand dollars? Look, I, I make niggas nut quick. This shit gonna take 10 minutes. Let me get this real quick 1,000 real quick so I can take back home. The fuck? A thousand? You said 500. The, that's the lowest. You're Sydney Star. You could be charging like five. What is that? My dad calling. God, let me say. Sure. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Oh, I'm hanging in there, Sydney. How you doing today? Good. Just on this little interview. Uh, well, a big interview right now. Okay. Well, call me when you get get through with your interview. Yeah, they asking all types of questions and getting all in my business. Can I can I ask some questions? The the interviewer. He want to say hi to him. Yeah, ask my dad a question. Hey, Dad. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Um, so what kind of interview are you doing? Um, we're just talking. We're just having a, a conversation. I just, I'm just interested. Ask him what you want to I'm ask. I'm just interested him. to know about your son-daughter. Okay. All right. Dad. Right, good. Dad. So how did, you, how did you feel when you first found out about uh, Sydney's transition? Well, I... Uh, I love Sydney no matter what what she wants to be. You know, uh, it it's, it doesn't really matter to me because Sydney got to live her own life. True, true. Just true. like I'm living mine. So, uh, you know, I'm happy that she's happy. Were you shocked? That's the bottom line. And I love her no matter what she wants to be. Were you shocked? Well, you know, I was. I you know you you would be shocked. I mean, anybody uh, would be shocked about that. But I'm just saying that I was able to uh, overcome that shock. Mm -hmm. And like I accept Sydney whatever way she wants to be. And, uh, and as long as Sydney's happy and I'm happy for her. She's a she's a good person and, uh, and a very loving, warm person, a giving person. And so uh, you don't find that. And to and what are those those characteristics that I just mentioned mm -hmm. in people today. So, uh, like I said, I love her no matter what she wants to be. I think the, I think the world loves her. <laughs> well, Thank I, you, I believe so. I, I believe so. She, like I said, she's a she's a very good person. She's a she's a caring, giving, sharing, uh, 
person and uh she's down to earth and so i'm just saying you don't find these qualities in people today all this what i just mentioned in one one person Especially dad, since even when I'm known to and, and I'm, you know, a little famous, I'm still nice and giving to everybody. Yeah, you're down to earth. You're down to earth. And, 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 and I'm not stuck go, up. That's a fact. That is a fact. And that's a good quality. My dad has been yes. with us when fans came up to us while we were eating in the restaurant. And dad, go, don't I take a picture with everybody, every single person. That's right. Not you start when they cut when they come to you. You talk to them. You spend. You give your time to them, and you you treat them uh, uh, normally. Sure. And you, like I said, you down to earth, and they understand that, and they care. They they can relate to that. Okay, thank you, thanks, Dad. Dad, I appreciate you. I love you. I'm gonna call you when I leave out of here. Whatever you get a chance. Love you. All right. Love you more. All right. Be yeah, safe. Love you more. Take okay. Care. All right. You too. Bye. 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 Cool you heard it from the dad, my, the, the, that, so you see, mm-hmm. I'll make a great wife. Oh, cause your dad. Uh... He just told you what, how, what type of person I am. Mm-hmm. Very giving, kind, hearted. I do this with anybody, my friends. You don't even have to be somebody I'm having sex with. It's just that I'm a good person and I do this shit with everybody. So that's why. Like, even when I'm friends with these reality TV bitches, I give them the real Sydney. Like, I give them a wholesome Sydney. So, when bitches do me dirty, it's a very big blow to my whole mind frame. Because, like, bitch, you had a good friend. <clears throat> like, I would have, I'd do anything for my friends and people that I love. This is just, you know, they missed out on a good person just for some TV and drama. Do you want kids? Nah, I don't want no kids. I well, had a child. He died. It was a cat. His name was Binky. And I would give everything to bring his ass back to life. That was my baby. What if your husband want kids? I'm like, we, maybe we could just, you know, get some dogs. Or, I don't want no kids. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, if we, is that, if I love him that much, maybe we can adopt. Okay. But to be a good wife, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta. Or he might have a kid already. You gonna raise him? Nah. <laughs> I gotta, I'm, I gotta, I'm the girl on the go. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bring the money to the table. You raise them. Do you got a deep voice? Do you got a big dick? God damn, Sydney fuck. <laughs> That's how my assistant laughs. <laughs> nah, but nah, you shit. You got a big dick? If you got a big dick, I'll put my deep voice on for you. <laughs> I'm serious. A ch- a exchange for exchange. <laughs> <laughs> you got big dick, homie. Uh, <laughs> don't even as deep as I can go. I ain't even give you the real. Please, one. please go deep. Please. I ain't even give you the real one. Oh, that, that was pause. Wait, you got where you get that clear wire from? Oh, that was just coconut water. Oh, okay. I thought that was mine. <laughs> please use your deep voice. Please. You gonna pay me? How much? How much? <laughs> I give you hundred dollars. The last time, look, the last time I did my deep voice was when I was actually on a television show, a, a scripted television show called Star. Queen Latifah was a part of the cast, all that. That was actually the real Star, Star, Star. I remember seeing you on there. Mm-hmm. I was on there. I don't remember that and part I though. A, I put a deep voice on. Yeah, we was at the club scene. I think I remember that shit. I do yeah, remember that. Dude, I do remember that. I do remember that. With us I do remember I that. To, I had to tell his ass what I was about. Do it again, do it again. <clears throat> That's the cue not to do it. Nah. <laughs> um. I will beat your ass if you fuck with me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta try hard to like. <laughs> I don't know why I let you do let me do that to myself. 
Do now you gotta let me see your dick. No. Let me see some balls or something. Let me see some nuts. All right, the show's over. Show me some nuts. So balls, cleavage. That's how I call it. Let me see some nuts, nigga. I don't have any. You got, don't have no nuts. I got a surgery. Are you trans? <laughs> <laughs> You trans, oh, okay, we, we trans brother and sister. Hey! <laughs> Stop! God damn it, please. <sighs> There's some wine getting to me, brother. I ain't gonna lie, when I get a little tipsy, I get a little horny. Give a, get, get the right, right a cup, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is crazy, bro. When I get a little horny when I get a little tipsy. <clears throat> like titties, what are you, a titty man or ass man? Be honest. I'm scared to answer that. I like Why? both. I like both. Be cool. Just, you, no, you have a favorite. Every man has a favorite. What's your favorite? Because if I had to pick between a dude, a dick, or his balls, you're going to totally laugh at me when I say this, but I love balls. I would say I'm a ball girl. <laughs> I love nuts. Like, shoot. Like, for real. Like, I would love, like, I've gotten off to niggas. What's that? I've gotten off just by looking at a nigga's nuts. Hairy gotcha. nuts. Dick ain't even gonna be hard. Is your nuts hairy? <laughs> I don't have nuts. I'm castrated, baby. Really? Mm-hmm. How much that cost? I don't like three thousand dollars. It don't cost that much to do that. When did you do this? Years ago. Years ago. Man, if you want to see a little more, just subscribe to my OnlyFans. Oh, you be doing that? I got OnlyFans. How many how many subscribers you got? I got about. Cause I've been I've been slacking on it lately. They've been leaving. I we got like oh sorry the wine the wine baby. <laughs> um, it's I got about like maybe two k. Is they're going down though? Yeah. Cause I ain't been really doing like I just been posting old shit. Cause mm -hmm. I ain't been on it lately. But about one about fifteen hundred. I make my money on my own fans for sure. Would you ever talk to a, a man that turned to a woman? No, no, woman a that turned to a man. man. Yeah. I'm not opposed to it. I actually tried to do that once before. It just didn't work out. Would you Would you have sex with them in the pussy? No, they would be fucking me. Oh, you ain't doing them. No, mm -mm. they would fuck. You don't. Me. You don't use your shit at all. No, like, I, there's, I mean, I do love ass. I ain't even gonna lie. I love a nice, hairy, manly ass. But I'm more so more I like to put my face in it, that type of shit. But other than that, no. Nah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I do get turned on. Like, I be wanting to, you know, get up in it sometimes. I ain't even gonna lie. I get them cravings. I ain't gonna lie. Just a little bit. But, I mean, I'm a woman. I'm a girl. Like, I have topped maybe like two or three guys in my whole life just because they kind of paid me and then it was something about a straight hood nigga just like, hey, bend me over. Huh? Hey, bend me over. They like real masculine with it. Uh -huh. Like they want, like a lot of men get pegged. Uh -huh. You know what that means, right? Yeah, I know what that means. So that means the girl is fucking him. Mm -hmm. So pegging I would be like a pegger, but I don't need the dildo. But sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, I did have to use a dildo one time on this guy because I couldn't really... You couldn't what? I couldn't really get up. So, it was like, it's kind of hard. The hormones kind of make me hard to get hard. Oh, okay. So, I have to really be turned on to really be like a... I have to really be turned on by you. But I did use um, a dildo, and I um, made this guy 
think that I was fucking him with my actual girl penis, but I wasn't. How the fuck you tricked him? But you had a, it was it was a, it was a it was a little deal though, and it, the lights was low. And I y'all said, love I some said, low lights. I said, Turn your ass around, nigga. I said, don't look back. Don't look back, motherfucker. <laughs> don't look back. I'm about to shove this shit up on you. <laughs> and then I put the motherfucker a little white. See, I didn't want him to look back because it was white. It was a white <laughs> little deal, though. So, if he looked back, he'd have been like, oh, this shit ain't real. Where's your real, where's your penis? So, I had to make sure. He was giving me a nice little amount of money. He gave me like $800. Just to, He thought he, I was fucking him. So, yeah. Sometimes you got to fake it to make it. Fake it to make it. Child. <clears throat> I'm surprised you lasting this long with me. What you mean? Niggas, I don't even want to ask. Niggas get a little uncomfortable when we start talking. You know, I done been around some famous reality star guy friends and I started talking crazy like this and they like asked me to leave the premise no they actually got up and left my bad I think it's my cue <laughs> <laughs> well 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 watch me march well get up go on here no, I'm it's my good. show now no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not a. Uh, I'm not homophobic. I'm not. It's cool. I can tell you not because anybody. I, I trust me. I've been in this game for years. As far as the whole LGBT, I know when the niggas uncomfortable and who he is and vice versa. Trust me. You're a good sport. For sure. I'm. I'm doing this for the uh, the ratings. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're using me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now you gotta give me some dick after this. But why? Like why? 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 Like why you gotta? Like you gotta send me a dick picture or something. But like why? Like why I gotta you go there? Have, literally, I'm gonna be hitting. I got your number. That's not my number. Gonna, uh, whose is it? His. Ah, uh, that was your number. <laughs> that was your number. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you a little something to the cash app. Send him app dick pics. Give me the real number. Send him dick pics. I'm gonna throw you a little something to the cash app to give me the real number. I got you. We gonna, we gonna make it happen after this. That's crazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a new number. What you look like without that on? Without what? I want to see your head. Oh, oh no, I ain't shaved my head. I had to put this on just before you got here. Oh, okay. I look the same. I want to see. For what? I don't need you choosing. Because <laughs> sometimes people look different. I look the same. I, Alexa, I look the same, right? Let me see what it She don't know. Mm-mm. I'm look, looking right. <laughs> I, look, I look better without it. You know what I mean? Like, mm, mm, uh, that's what she giving up there. Like, uh, mm, you look better with it on. That's what it's giving all her in. I look better without it. It don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it don't matter. What you just missing out. You should try a trans girl one day. I swear to God, you ain't gonna never go back. One day, this girl, I met one, right? Mm-hmm. I was in the mall shopping. And this person kept looking at me. And we talking. And I didn't think the person was trans. I was just, we just talking. But as I'm talking to him, I was just, I didn't get the normal feeling that I get with a normal female. Mm -hmm. Like I usually kind of, I never even noticed I noticed feminine energy. But this person, I didn't, it, it wasn't no feeling. Then I just started like just paying attention. I was like, damn, maybe something. Something not right. Something's a little off. Mm -hmm. So, but her friend was there with her and she just kept looking at me like. So, it, but it gave it away. Well, what gave it away was I Googled her phone number and it was a transsexual escort. Oh, so when people Google my number, that's probably... You escort? Well, you said you already do a 500 to a 1,000. I mean, we all got a pass. Oh, okay. But I don't have to do that shit now, no. But what mm -hmm. I'm saying is, so when you Google a person's number, that information pop up? No, but this person was on a, like a, a website. Um, selling, selling what they were selling. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. So it was like a, a Craigslist type shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You been on Craigslist? Before? Those were the days. You was on Craigslist? Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Hell no. Never. I'm too much of a bad bitch for Craigslist. Mm -mm. Back page. That's like that's like a, a scale up. 
<laughs> Look, I don't need to do none of that. Like, you see these big ass titties? Like, I'm actually going bigger in a few months. I'm going a little bit bigger. I'm at 800 cc. I'm going 900 cc. Um, in um September. Wow. Well, I have to get a little reconstruction going on in my tape because I did some stupid shit when I was like 18. So they're going to have to just like remove some scar tissue type shit. But mm -hmm. my surgeon like, we're going to bring them up to 900 cc. I'm like, okay, let's go for it. Because I mean, make me look like Betty Boo. How do you even stretch your skin to like even? Uh, because I was on hormones. I started hormones at. Oh, you started, going your, you started going your own titties. I started hormone therapy at 14. So when you're on hormone therapy, that stretches your skin out. That gives you the stuff you need. To make your stuff That's work. what I'm saying. These, what was it called? What you call them? The apple, what, the, the trans girls popcorn. that be what? Popcorn. The popcorn trans girls. Oh, look, look, look. Okay. The popcorn. I'm not yeah. a popcorn trans girl. You talking about the little flat chesty little... That's I'm talking about the girls that think they could just boom, 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 and then they're trans. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm talking about, I'm talking about a bitch, like, when you're hot, popcorn gets made in two, three minutes. Oh, okay, I got you. I'm talking about a bitch like me. I'm a turkey. Bitch, you gotta you cook, you marinate cook that bitch for, for hours. Years. And days. Like, this, I'm the type of bitch that, yeah, I started my shit at 14 years old, and I gradually, I took this shit seriously, took hormones every two weeks. Hormone pills, the estrogen, that's testosterone blocker. I did this shit for real. It wasn't an overnight sensation with me. Where the fuck you get the pills from? Other uh, older trans girls. Oh, you you met someone uh -huh. at fourteen and right? I paid them. Mhm. Mm Cause I couldn't. I was too young. Mm -hmm. But um, I would always get it from them, and they would you know call me their trans daughter, and yeah, they would get get me right. You ever been to jail? For one day. In what, a cell. Where they, they put, put you me at? by myself. Oh, because you were I was, you were yeah, different. Yeah, they put me all by myself. I was in that bitch crying. I was crying like a bitch. Why? I said, I want to go home. What do you think they was going to do to you? I don't know, but I heard, I thought I was going to get raped by everybody. Because I was a pretty little tender room. But they was like, no, you're going to be in the cell by yourself. And... I remember I was in that bitch crying and I heard the music in the background because they was playing music. They was playing like the Isley Brothers. Oh, it was going down. I, <laughs> I felt like a big up was my mama. <laughs> I was thinking like my mom, she gonna motherfucking kill me. Um, and they brought me about this bologna sandwich. That bitch was so good. I ain't even gonna hold you. That, that bologna that shit sandwich ain't that good. was so yeah. that bologna sandwich was fire. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's the only reason I want to go back to jail. <laughs> <laughs> what nigga? <laughs> but the bologna sandwich, that little motherfucker bologna sandwich was good. I asked that motherfucker, "Can I get one more, sir?" He like, "Yeah, I'll make sure I get you another one." And I, I love he. I feel like the police just had a little crush on me too when I was in there. He was like, you really, cause I remember he had asked me, he was like, you really, like you really a boy? <laughs> 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 he like, you really look good. He was like, you look nice. I'm like, thank you. Oh, he would. He, he, he was just like shocked. Cause he was like, why do they have you in the, yeah. Mm -hmm. what you go to jail for? My ex did some stupid shit put illegal cable in my apartment under somebody's name and they wanted to go and do um, identity theft. Uh, and I was I was there. So when they came, they're like, are you the owner of this apartment? I said, yes. I was like, yeah. They're like, you're under arrest. I said, what? Hold on now. What I do? I ain't do shit. Like, what the fuck you talking about? I'm under arrest. They like, get your belongings, you're under arrest. I said, oh my God. <laughs> I just didn't understand. So then they explained to me that I had illegal cable under the, I can't, the, I think I remember the first name. 
It was a lady's name. And I was like, my boyfriend got me cable here. You snitched on him? No. I just said my boyfriend. They, I didn't snitch and gave, give them his information. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -mm. But I took the rap for it and I got, um, um, they put me on, um, I was on, what's that shit? For one year. Probation? Probation, <laughs> yeah. They mm -hmm. put me on probation for one year. And I didn't even do shit. Oh, I took the rap. So, like I said, I'm a down ass bitch. So, yeah, niggas, if you watching, hit me up in the DM. I'll take the rap for you. <sighs> nah, I'm joking. I gotta ask you some questions. <clears throat> You are, you gotta ask me questions, but you still ain't tell me if Listen. after this if I'ma get the dick pic. But okay, ask the question. <coughs> show over. Cancel the show. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a you know why I sneeze like that? Cause I sense fakeness. <laughs> From who? <laughs> I sense some fakeness in this room. It's, it's only three, or you count everybody. One, two, three, four. It's five people in this room. Okay, what, what? Including me, six. What you think it is? I sense fake shit. What you think it is? That you will fuck me. Well, it's been a really <laughs> good show. <laughs> it's been a really good show. Reach out for that cut. And um, I really appreciate you, you, would you coming. Fuck me. I really appreciate you coming. Like, you would fuck me. You're a really great guest. Niggas want to fuck me. <laughs> no, no. This, this was great. This was awesome. Was that hot? This was a great way to end I this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. This was great. I fuck mm -hmm. with you. Okay. Did you do it again? Like that. Hmm? Plug Wild Out. Oh, yeah. We got to plug Wild and Out. You on Wild and Out? That will be on Wild and Out next month. Yeah. Yes. They talked shit about me so bad on there, though. <laughs> it was fun, though. But yeah, I'm gonna be on Wild and Out on June 22nd. June 22nd. On How was it though? Like, was you it was fun. It was like DC was going in on you. Wait, on no, it's airing on VH1. It's on VH1, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, dummy. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. What else you got coming up? I did a Tyler Perry show. Mm hmm. It's a show called Bruh. 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 Mm hmm. B R U H. I play a trans girl named Monica. Word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got to have an experience with Tyler Perry. Um, is the is the bad? Should I talk about or just wait the whole what what's going on next week? Wait that out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have. To, I can't say what else I got going. Is on. the baddie show already out? The baddies, uh, the the baddie show is out. Yeah, I've oh. been on season one and two of baddies. Oh, okay. I was on baddies ATL and baddies South. For sure. The one that Krishan was on. Mm -hmm. Baddies West, I gave them a break. Mm -hmm. But all my fans wanted me to pop up for baddies West. But I might show up for baddies East audition, maybe. But I have a lot of fans on baddies. Like they love me on baddies. My fans be like, "Can you please go back?" They want me, but you know, I like to give my fans what they want. So I might just go back just for them, pop up type shit. But I got a lot of shit going on. Um, and then eventually I'm gonna take a little break. I think the world needs a sit and start break. I'm gonna make you bitches miss me. Mm -hmm. Cause I be feeling like I give y'all too much, so like I'm gonna do my little break, then my surgery, my titties redone in September, and then after that I'm gonna be like, boom, bitch, I'm back, back in full effect, and you know I've done some great things in my career. I've been over on like over fourteen television shows. Like I've been on Star, I was on The Shy. On Showtime, I was on Black Ink Crew, Chicago, um, hmm. botched on E. Like, I've done some amazing things in my career. I was on Mari. That was my first TV appearance. You blew up after the World Star shit? The whole what? chingy thing. That's yeah. one. Okay. But I turned that negative into a positive. And it's so crazy 
But people really love my crazy ass. Like, I'll just be taking myself out to eat at a restaurant. And, like, this happened literally the day before yesterday. The whole back out back was going crazy when they realized I was there. Hmm. They was in the back like, oh, my God, she's here. They were like, oh, my God. I love her. Like, we got to take pictures. Like, I was just like, I love it. I know what I signed up for. My waiter, he was cool as fuck. He was, like, real chill. He was like, yeah, they love you. They want to take pictures with you. I'm like, let them know. I will take pictures with them after I'm done eating and paying the bill. After that, I they all just had a ball with me. But, you know, when I'm out, I meet a lot of fans and they show love. I didn't realize I would ever be that type of bitch where people would be like, oh, my God, and screaming and going crazy. Like, one of the girls was literally shaking. Like, at the little Outback restaurant, she was shaking because, like, she was so starstruck. And I'm like, it's just little on me, girl. You ain't got to be doing all that. Hmm. Like, I'm just city star. It, it never get overwhelming? Like, you um, never get tired of it? Like, it God, gets damn. more overwhelming for my assistant than me because he starts getting mad when people want to come up and take pictures and he'll be like, uh-uh, we ain't doing all that. <laughs> and it'll be like, I'm the girl that'll just keep going. Like, come on, girl, let's take pictures. I'm just the sweet, happy-go-lucky girl. But see, I have to sometimes realize I have a lot of haters. So somebody might just want to come up on some bullshit. And, you know, that could happen too. Because I've had people tell me in DMs, like, they would... If they ever met me in person, they was going to act like a fan and then pop my ass type shit. These is like little teenage girls, though. Hmm. Like, because they look at this reality shit like super real. I mean, mm. it's a TV show. Like, get over it. I filmed this shit months and months and months ago. And they be like, I hate the way you treated Judy. I'm like, fuck <laughs> you, bitch. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I did this years, a year ago. Like if, that type shit. If you had to choose between money and fame. Mm. That's a good question. Because I love fame. I bet you Fame do. is a hell of a drug. Mm. Mm. I would say fame. Fame. Because fame is going to bring in money. So you you wouldn't just take the money. If somebody offered you, let's say, twenty M's to disappear. Listen, I'm tired of your ass. Listen, bitch. Take this twenty million and get the fuck on. Don't, don't ever come back to the scene. Don't ever come back. Don't even come to America. Get the fuck on. I don't know. What? <laughs> twenty million. A dub? Yeah, two million. 20 million, 20, right? 20, uh, yeah, I'm okay. We can do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Realistically, yeah, I'll take it and be like, okay, damn. My fans, I'll make my last little video and be like, y'all won't be seeing any of me anymore. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, I'll take it. 10 million. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I did a 10 to 5 million. Mm -hmm. one. Anything under one, under that, no. Uh, no, because of thousands, so, hundred, yeah. Mm -mm. So not, not like two, three million. Yeah, two million dollars. I could do that. Anything mm -hmm. under one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. But. <laughs> I feel like you're going to blow through that no, shit. No, 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 no. That's too low. You're going to blow right through that shit. Be right back. Yeah, I just thought about it. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, you're right now. But that shit would be far. It wouldn't be nothing under 10. Exactly. That's it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, nah, I'm going to still be out here. Right. I'm still out here in these streets. <laughs> but, mm -mm. Well, <laughs> I, think, I think that's all the questions I got for you. So this is the end. Is yeah. this the end? I won't ever see you again. You won't. I'm sorry. Hmm. I was just what? starting to like you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sid. You wanna go for drinks later? Can I bring legs? Sure. 
She can watch. Watch what? I mean, she can, you know, enjoy us, have drinks. And she could get some too. I would love for Lex to come have drinks with us. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I would love it. Girl, Lex, you are good to, in my book. I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> What's your drink? Tequila. Yeah, you're a tequila girl. Hennessy. You don't drink? Oh, you're like me. You're a champagne girl. Okay. Oh, we'll be good then. We'll be good friends. Yeah, y'all should, y'all should go hang out. For sure. But I'm talking about you come out too with us. Yeah, this is the show though. <clears throat> What's that? No, we don't. For sure. For sure. Stop! Shit, if the show's over. Stand we... up. No. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. 